Good morning, everyone. We're going to read 15 verses today from Discourse 18 of the Bhagavad Gita. This will be verses 50 to 64. And I will be reading from Bhagavad Gita, translated by Laurie Patton, which is the Penguin Classic. I'm reading from the Light Illuminations Bhagavad Gita, annotated and explained, translated by Sri Purohit Swami, and annotated by Kendrick Cross and Burroughs. I'm reading from Bhagavad Gita, translated by R.K. Sharma, with Carol Pitts and Les Morgan. Let us begin. Slok 50. Sindhi prapyo yatha brahma tatha pyoti nibodha me sama seneva konteya nishtha jnana sya ya para. Slok 50. Son of Kunti. Learn from me briefly, the one who has found fulfillment also gains Brahman, the highest state of wisdom. That was the Patton. The prose reads, I will now state briefly how he who has reached perfection finds the eternal spirit, the state of supreme wisdom. And the Sharma reads, O son of Kunti, understand in brief from me how, after attained success, one thus attains Brahman, which is the supreme state of wisdom. Slokes 51 through 53 are together. Buddhya, Vishuddhya, Yukto, Dhrutyatmana, Niyamya, Cha. Shabdadi Nishyan Setya Katva Raga Desho Vyudas Yacha Vivikta Kashevi Landhavashi Yata Vakta Yamana Saha Dhyana Yoga Paro Nityam Vairagyam Samu Pashri Taha Ahankara, Bala, Darsha, Kama, Krodha, Parigrama, Vimuchya, Nirmama, Shanto, Brahmyu, Yaya, Kalpate. Slok 51, 52, and 53. The pattern reads, Join to pure insight and restraining the self with steadiness, letting go of the objects of sense, starting with sound, throwing aside passion and hatred, consuming lightly, dwelling apart, controlled in body, mind, and speech, eternally holding the yoga of meditation as the highest end, take refuge in a state without passion, without pride, force, and the focus on I of grasping anger and desire, at peace and without a sense of mind, one becomes fit for the being of Brahman. The prose reads, guided always by pure reason, bravely restraining himself, renouncing the objects of sense and giving up attachment and hatred, enjoying solitude, abstemious, his body, mind, and speech under perfect control, absorbed in meditation, he becomes free, always filled with the spirit of renunciation. Having abandoned selfishness, power, arrogance, anger, and desire, possessing nothing of his own, and having attained peace, he is fit to join the eternal spirit. Sharma reads, Endowed with pure wisdom and controlling the self firmly, having relinquished objects of the senses, such as sounds, etc., and having relinquished attachment and hatred, living in solitude, eating lightly, having control over speech, body, and mind, having constantly engaged in meditation, taking refuge in dispassion, free from ego, inappropriate display of power, arrogance, desire, anger, and greed, with no sense of me or mine, 
serene, one qualifies for identity with Brahman. Slope 54. 54 to 56. Okay. Brahma Bhutaha Prasantyama Na Shochati Na Kahyati Sama Sarveshu Bhuteshu Mandrantite Labhate Parama Bhakya Mama Bhijanati Yavanya Shrasima Tatvataha Tato Ma Tatvato Gyatva Vishati Tadanantarama Sarva Karmanyayapi Sada Kurvano Madhyaya Pakshayaha Matya Sa Prasa Dada Va Proti Sashrata Padma Vya Yayam Slope 54 to 56. The one whose self is tranquil, of being with Brahman, who neither grieves nor desires, for whom all beings are the same, gains the highest devotion to me. Through devotion to me, one comes to know how far I reach and who I truly am. And then one knows me truly. One enters me in an instant. Further, if one is always performing all actions while taking refuge in me, one reaches through my grace an imperishable, unchanging home. Prose reads, And when he becomes one with the eternal, and his soul knows the bliss that belongs to the self, he feels no desire and no regret. He regards all beings equally and enjoys the blessing of supreme devotion to me. By such devotion, he sees me, who I am and what I am, and thus realizing the truth, he enters my kingdom. Relying on me in all his actions and doing them for my sake, he attains by my grace, eternal and unchangeable life. The Sharma reads, having identified with Brahman, one of tranquil mind never grieves nor desires. Regarding all beings with equanimity, one obtains supreme devotion to me. With devotion, a person comes to know me, how great and who I am in reality. Then, having known me in reality, one enters me thereupon. Even performing all actions, one who is always dedicated to me through my grace attains the eternal imperishable state. Slok 57. Okay. Chetasa sarva karmani yami sanyasya matparaha buddhi yoga mupa shritya machantaha satata bhava. Slok 57. The pattern reads, renouncing by thought all actions to me and holding me as the highest, take refuge in the yoga of insight and think of me always. The prose reads, surrender then your actions unto me, leave in me, concentrate your intellect on me and think always of me. And I have left out a footnote here, which is, by such devotion, he sees me. Prabhavananda Prabha, Prabha, Prabha and Isherwood translate this line simply as, to love is to know me. And there's another footnote from the Encyclopedia of Religion referring to Chaitat. Chaitanya, referring to Chaitanya 1486 to 1533, the ecstatic founder of Bengal Vaishnava, <laughs> the ecstatic founder of Bengal Vaishnavism, once came upon a man reading the Bhagavad Gita aloud in a temple. And as he read, everyone laughed at him, for he mispronounced all the words. 
the man himself was weeping and trembling and Chait and Chait and Chaitanya asked him which words made him cry so. I don't know the meaning of the words, the man confessed, but as I sound them out, I see Krishna in Arjuna's chariot. He is holding the reins in his hands and he is speaking of Arjuna and he looks very beautiful. The vision makes me weep with joy. Chaitanya smiled. You are an authority on the Bhagavad Gita you know the real meaning of the text. The Sharma reads, mentally surrendering all actions to me, devoted to me, taking recourse in the yoga of discriminating wisdom. Let your mind be continuously focused on me. Slope 58. Machitaha sarva durgani matprasada tarishyasi Atha Chetva Mahakaranam Shroshyasi Vinadya Si. Slow 58. The pattern reads When you think of me through my grace, you will cross into all those places so hard to reach. But if you cannot listen, from a sense of mine, you will die. The prose reads. Fix your mind on me, and by my grace, you shall overcome the obstacles in your path. But if, misled by pride, you will not listen, then indeed you shall be lost. The Sharma reads, with mind focused on me, you will, with my grace, overcome all obstacles. But if out of vanity you do not listen, you will perish. Slope 59. Slok 59 and 60. Yada hankara mashritya nya na yotsaya iti manyase mithyesha vyavasayaste prakruti svatva niyokshayati svabhava jena konteya nimbradaha Svena Karmana Hatu Neshchacha Siya Namo Hatvaka Rishya Syava Shodapi Tata Slok 59 and 60. If you take refuge in the sense of mine and think, I will not fight, your resolve is hopeless and the force of nature will command you. Son of Kunti, through that which arises out of your own nature, bound by your own action and confusion, you will do even that which you do not want to do. That was the pattern. The prose reads, if you in your vanity think of avoiding this fight, your will shall not be fulfilled for nature herself will compel you. O oh, Arjuna, your duty binds you from your own nature has it arisen and that which in your delusion you desire not to do, that very thing you shall do, you are helpless. The Sharma reads, false is the resolve that taking recourse to vanity, you think I will not fight. Your innate nature will compel you. O son of Kunti bound by your own karma, arising out of your own nature, what due to delusion you do not wish to do, you will do even against your will. And there's a reference, see verse 1843, Slok 61 to 64. Ishvara Sarva Bhutana Rade Sedarjuna Tishtiti Bhama Yan, yan Sarva Bhutani Yantra Rudhani Mayaya Taneva Sharanam Gancha Sarva Bhavet Bhavena Bharata Tatpa Sadatpara Shanti Sthanam Prapsayasi Sashvata Tama Iti Te Gyana Maruyata Gunda 
दगु यत तर मया विमृश्ये तद शेषेण यथे अक्षशे तथा कुरु सर्वगृहतम भूय शृणु मे परम वच इक्षोदशी मे दधमति ततो वक्षयामि ते रिमति Slok 50, uh, 61 to 64. Arjuna, the Lord of all beings dwells in the place of the heart and causes all beings to wander in illusion as if following a great cosmic map. Son of Bharata, go with your whole being to that one refuge and from that grace you will reach the eternal dwelling place and the highest peace. So this wisdom told to you by me is more hidden than the hidden and when you have pondered this completely then do as you like even further listen to my highest word the most hidden of all you are greatly loved by me so i will speak for your benefit the prose reads god dwells in the hearts of all beings o arjuna he causes them to revolve as it were on a wheel by his mystic power with all your strength fly unto him and surrender yourself and by his grace shall you attain supreme peace and reach the eternal home thus have i revealed to you the truth the mystery of mysteries having thought over it you are free to act as you will only listen once more to my last word the deepest secret of all You are my beloved you are my friend and I speak for your welfare. The Sharma reads O Arjuna God resides in the heart of all beings causing all beings to whirl around as if mounted on a machine by the power of Maya Seek shelter in him alone in all respects O descendant of Bharata Through his grace you will attain supreme peace the eternal abode thus to you knowledge more secret than secret has been presented by me after considering this completely act as you wish listen again to my supreme teaching the most secret of all you are my inseparable beloved one therefore i will speak what is in your best interest but there was a footnote in the prose that i missed and that footnote here is on the phrase by his mystic power and the footnote reads wheel yantra mechanism machine mystic power maya an alternative translation is making them all revolve like puppets on a carousel by Mitchell from behind the veil of cosmic illusion he holds the string with which he causes countless numbers of species to dance like shadow pictures on a screen according to Janana Deva all beings are like toys in god's divine game which he inspires with his life-giving love mayer baba We are all being dragged along by this mighty complex world machine there are only two ways out of it one is to give up all concern with the machine and stand aside that is to give up all desires that is very easy to say but almost impossible to do the other way is to plunge into the world and learn the secret of work and that is the way of karma yoga Do not fly away from the wheels of the world machine but stand inside it and learn the secret of work through proper work done inside it is always possible to come out through this machine itself is the way out according to vivekananda okay so i'm afraid you have to wait until the next session in order to hear what the secret of secrets is so Thank you Kushma. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah.